Hello guys, how's it going? So for today's um, how-to tutorial, I wanted to do something different. So I did go to Kishoff Rooms and I, uh, I I opened this one. So it's, it's just, it says how to make this texture. I looked at the texture, I looked it up and uh, it turns out it's called uh, Tamascus or Timascus. So it's basically the Damascus um, still makes the titanium. And this is, uh, these are the results. So I wanted to make something similar to this ring here. Um, and that's what I did. So I end up with pictures like this. Uh, it's a material, you know, it's similar to Damascus, Timascus. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Um, so I wanted to show you how I made this. Uh, hopefully I can do it in one session, but I, I don't know. It's a pretty small um, material graph here. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete everything I have right now. So we have um, just a flat material and there we go. Um, okay, so what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this, this material here. So I'm just gonna uh, minimize it here. Um, so it's nice and available. Uh, so as you can see, the, the base for it is, um, is metal. So we're just going to do a metallic base and we do no. And uh, looking good. If I can just move everything out of the way, that would be great. Okay. Um, there we go. So the next thing we want to look at is that uh, the, the ring is not totally yellow or blue or red or anything. So we want to, um, we want to give it that effect and the way we can achieve that is by using a gradient uh, node, uh, if I can find it, color gradient. So we're just going to connect that to color. And as you can see, nothing happened because the gradient is, uh, is, is um, white to black. So we need, we need three colors at least. Uh, so the white color, um, we should do a yellowish color here. So it's the base color. Um, just going to do... A little bit lighter and uh, we're gonna add a new color in the middle which is going to be red so we just double click on it and then we can use the color picker to just pick a color maybe maybe that's good and for the black we can do the bright um, purple or pink whatever and let's see okay looks good and we're just gonna go down. I'm just gonna look at. Uh, we're gonna turn on repeat, uh, and I'm just gonna look at the gradient knot for a second. See if everything's looking fine. Uh, so it's 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 fine as of right now because uh, we're not gonna actually use that same color or that the, the same pattern, which is uh, planar. We actually wanna use the map for it. So we do have a map. Um, actually, let me just change it to planar for now. So there are some things that we can do. Uh, I tried some different methods, and the uh, the most efficient and the most accurate one is actually using um, using mesh tool. So mesh is a is a pretty versatile map. Um, map. I really like it personally. We can do a lot with this mesh tool. Uh, so as you can see, there are like some spots that. Uh, you know, purplish, and then uh, like here, and then the rest of it is like yellowish kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna do with the with the mesh tool. Okay, so we're just gonna press C to see it in black and white. Um, that looks good. And we go up. We have to change that to cylinder, the mapping type. And um, I wrote down some numbers here on my phone, so I'm just gonna follow those. So this should be 20, almost 21. The diameter should be 40 or 44. Um, we go down, uh, the, the shape has to be circle, we want them to be circle, the fall off, we're going to do 1.4 I believe, and the shape diameter should be uh, something like 70, 71, 71, okay, and the pattern spacing should be higher, so we do 32, and we go down, we change the uh, distortion and everything, the gear should be almost 0.4, and the distortion we do uh, almost 0.9, and the scale is at 1. So here in the variation section, we just we change the settings just to make it look a little bit more random, um, like here. Okay, so we're just gonna press C again, and this is what we're 
uh, left bit. So we have to change the color gradient. Um, let's do zero here and let's do zero. Okay, looking good. Uh, let me bring this up. Um, let's see, I believe we need to have more uh, blue or uh, purple. And actually, I think we have to have some more yellow. And I think, I believe this has to be a little bluer, not purple. Um, hmm. Let's change this to just like straight up red, something brighter. And let's change this to something brighter as well. And let's see. Perhaps it should be uh, the other way around, actually. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, sort them and um, let's see, let's do that color. Okay, better. Okay, much better. Um, okay, I'd say this is pretty, pretty close. As you can, as, as you can see, you can you can still play with it and maybe change the color of this to something brighter. Uh, so say that, and uh, perhaps you can change the color of this blue, um, dark blue here to something more purplish. There we go. Okay, we have, uh, I think we've achieved something, uh, something like that. You can play with it. Uh, so if you zoom in, you can see there are some little dots on top of the ring, so it's not perfectly smooth. But it's pretty close, uh, so I'm just gonna change the roughness to 0.01. Um, actually, let's do 0.1. And um, I want to add a bump map here to my uh, base material. So the bump map I found out that works the best is just this one, noise texture. So we're just gonna press C again. Uh, it's pretty big, so we're just gonna make it go smaller, way smaller. Yeah, let's do uh, 0 0.15 millimeter, and we're gonna connect this to the to the bump map of the of our node, and looks good. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do, I wanna add these node spots here. So we're just gonna oh, we're just gonna duplicate this one, and we're gonna attach it to the label, and we're gonna do a uh, a spot, or is it? Uh, should be here. A spot knot here, and let's see. Let's press C again, and that's what we have. So we're just gonna have to play with it. So let's do, let's do one point or one point seventy five, and let's change density to point five or point one. Point one is good. Radius should be fine. Maybe we can do uh, point five, and then we can. Increase the fall off as well. So let's do let's do one, um, and we can uh, play with distortion uh, too much. Let's do 0.5, or let's do 0.20, 25. Uh, levels should be good. It's there aren't that many. It's just one here, one here, and I don't think there are that many. And we're gonna press C again, and we're gonna connect it to opacity. And uh, as you can see, we have to add a color invert. There we go. So we have the little dots, but they're blue-ish. So we're going to change the color of our uh, base material for the dots to some sort of uh, purple-ish, I believe. So that should be good, I think. Okay, then. And let's see, that's fine. And that should be... That should be good. I think it, it can be a little lighter. It's too dark. Um, all right, and we're gonna. I think I'm gonna have to change uh, the fall off as well because uh, we can actually see the circles pretty clearly. So 11.5. Right, this is better. Okay. So the next thing we want to do are these. Um, lines, which is, I think, the trickiest part. 
And again, we can use the, the mesh dot. Um, so we're just gonna duplicate this metal that we have here, and we're gonna attach it to label two, um, and we're gonna have to change it to a color like something like that. Um, and actually we can, we can uh, add a gradient, a color gradient knot to the color. So it's not all the same, the same uh, tone of blue. It's, you know, it's darker here and then it's lighter here. So we can do that. We're just gonna add a color gradient to the, to the color section here. There we go. And the gradient should be between something like purple to um, to kind of white actually. Let's do let's let's add a uh, another section to that. So it's like silverish, and let's add this one here. And we're gonna do kind of bluish. Here. Okay, so we have this nice looking blue here, and I'm just gonna press um, C to look at it like that, and let's try a different one, cylindrical, I think view direction should be fine, I think it is good, and we're just going to change this to kind of like white-ish, that's too much white, and let's increase the range of whiteness here, okay, should be good, perfect, okay, uh, so the next thing we have to do is add the mesh, the mesh knot. Um, so we're just gonna add the mesh here, where is it? here, and we're gonna have to attach it to opacity. And as you can see, we have the dots here because we haven't changed uh, our mesh knot yet. So what we can do, we can um, actually want the dots or the, the the pattern to be blue. So we have to add a color invert. That's what we did, and I'm gonna press C again. And I'm going to change the mapping type to cylinder, and um, I have some numbers uh, written down here, so I'm just going to put those here. So the wrap is uh, 3, 4, the diameter is 40, um, the angle is 90, and remember, we have to change, change, change the shape from circle to line, so we're just going to do that. Um, so it's 90, 0, and um, so here we have the fall off as 0.25 okay we have the shape width as 0 0.75 0 0.75 perfect the shape angle is zero and um, we can change the pattern sp spacing from square to custom so we can change change it in, in both directions um, and the first one is 5.86 and the second one we're gonna have to uh, turn off this chain here uh, and the second one is 0.34 Okay, uh, the shift has to be 0.5, um, that will be, that's what we have, and we're going to have to, you know, make it look uh, random and not so straight, so we're going to have to increase the distortion, and that is 9.5, that's what we have, the, we're going to increase the distortion scale because this is way too, you know, spatial. Um, if you want the Damascus still material, that's how you, you can do it, that you, you can just keep it as is. We're, we're doing the titanium Damascus, so we're going to have to increase the distortion scale, and that is 4.6, and perfect. So you can still um, play with this, uh, with this setting, of course, until you get what you want or your desired output. And that's what we have. I believe it has to be uh, kind of... Um, I think the roughness is too much actually, so we're just going to do 0 0.05 and we're going to change this to 05 as well and this one as well, 05. And I think um, we also have to uh, we also have to add this noise texture, noise bump here. So we're just going to duplicate it and we're going to attach it to the third uh, or the, the second label that we have. Uh, now they're all the same. I think. Uh, the color has to be um, kind of bluer, so we're just gonna. I'm just gonna pick a lighter blue here. Okay, and for here, I'm just gonna do something more extreme, and here as well, I'm just gonna do something more extreme. So it's white, 
it's completely white. And we can still play with um, our lines, the settings for the mesh tool. So we can, for example, change the, the diameter to say nine, so the lines are thicker, or we can do 1.25, I think. Let's do 1.1, I think this is closer. And um, as I said, we can still play with it. Uh, I think it should be good now. And the color gradient, I think, has to be, you know, yellow, more yellow. Uh, a brighter yellow, maybe, maybe not that. Uh, that should be good. And I believe that's it. Yeah. So if this is oh, not your desired material or not, not your desired color, as you can see, it looks, it looks different than the first one that I did is because I did change some settings and uh, I, did some, I did change some colors. So the first one looks closer because I spent more time on it. So if you want, if you want to achieve something closer to that one, uh, you have to play with the colors. Um, you have to play with the settings more. And you have to see which one you like and which one is uh, closer to the ring here. And that should be it, guys. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you think I did a good job or a bad job, uh, just uh, give me your ideas, your opinions. If you learned anything, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. As I said, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment down there. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. I don't get any comments. So I, I will look at your comment. And that should be it, guys. Uh, thank you and have a good day.